up, homies and girls? What's up? And cats? <laughs> and anybody else that's watching? Up in space and whatnot? Anyways, if you didn't just watch my last video on this thing, this thing is awesome. And you know what else is going to be awesome with this thing? The speed port on this, I can plug into my camera and charge this camera. So now I don't have to worry about the camera life or the battery life on this camera that has no external battery because I got a 20,000 milliamp charger here that I can plug it into and it's never going to go dead on me for like a week or two, maybe. Maybe even longer than that. And then I can jump start my truck while I'm charging it. Mm. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> but, anyways. We have a lot of work to do on my white beauty here. And we're going to do it all this weekend. Hopefully, hopefully I can get it all done. The main one, uh, well, main two. There's two of them. I need to do an oil change. That's no big deal. Um, I did put seafoam in this. Just a little... Uh, I went... I just drove around a little bit. I didn't have it in there that long. I wanted it to uh, clean the inside of the engine. You're supposed to put an ounce per quart of oil. So this takes six quarts. So I put six ounce of seafoam in it. And I drove it around a little bit. Just trying to clean the internals. Um, I'll probably do it again on the next oil change. Just because this thing's getting up there in mileage. I got almost 140,000 miles on it. It's a good truck. It's been really good to me. Now I better go knock on wood because it's probably going to break down. Um, <laughs> but anyways, uh, so oil change, um, my passenger side header is cracked or it has a leak in it. It did just pass inspection. I didn't say anything cause I was hoping it would still pass cause I could still drive it the way it is. I'm going to take the header off. I'm going to see if I can weld it. Um, it has aftermarket headers on it. I don't know what brand they are. I don't really want to buy two, but if it comes down to it and I can't fix this one I'm gonna have to buy myself new headers to put on this and honestly I'd rather just go with stock it's got long tube headers on it uh, I don't know that they can be repaired but I'm gonna see what I can do but it makes a nasty rattle at idle um, like a humming sounds like an exhaust shield rattle but it's my exhaust pipe rattling right where all four pipes collect there's a I don't know I, I'm sure it's gotten worse and it's come to the outside but that's where my leaks at because when I did my seafoam treatment my pipe got wet there I had smoke rising up from under the hood and that's when I found out I had a header that was leaking um, next thing on the list follow me guys I think I showed this to you in a previous episode but I got a new trailer hitch I gotta move my face over here so you can see it because the camera follows me but, um, let me show you why. And might I add, when the lift goes in, the, I, like, measured this out perfectly. I still have room to move the truck back, but I have lots of room to work in front of it, and this is almost where it needs to be. I'll be, I'll have to back it up just a little bit more, so, like, that shelf won't be there. But I'll be able to lift this up and have lots of room in the front, or I can turn the truck around and I'll have lots of room to work behind it. But here is why we're putting a new hitch on. There. Real nice, GM. Real nice. Real nice. Oh, it, look, even in here. So, I'm hoping that the bolts aren't going to break off in the frame rail on me. But it looks like a very simple install. I have all new hardware to put in and everything. This hitch is a little bit heavier duty than the one that is on the truck now. This is a factory hitch. And I don't think it's rated near as high as what this one This I think this truck has a class 3 on it. I got a class 4 hitch. It's good up to 12,000 pounds. So uh, we'll be throwing that on as well. But the header is probably going to be a nightmare. 
I had to throw my hood light up there. Actually, I don't think it's going to be that bad. I can look down in there. I can see the bolts don't look too bad uh, where the manifold meets the exhaust. And uh, we're pretty wide open besides the AC components being in the way. Uh, there's actually a lot of room down in there to work. I did the plugs and wires on this just recently. But... Uh, yeah, I can I can see down in there just fine. And I just realized I didn't know if my truck had the aluminum block or the cast iron block. And uh, from right here, it looks like my truck has the cast iron block. I never even really looked it up. They made two different blocks for these. Uh, and uh, it looks like mine's a cast iron one. Sorry about the heater running right next to the camera, but what I'm gonna do first on my truck is change the oil and get that done and over with. I'm not finished yet. Um, while I was underneath my truck, I found that I have an oil leak. It's not like a serious oil leak, but I have an oil leak. Um, it looks like the oil filter side uh, oil pan could possibly be leaking the pan gasket. Um, not really sure at this point because it, you know, if you drive for a while like that, it just kind of runs everywhere. At first, I looked at it and I was like, oh crap my rear main seal because it was like looked like it was coming out at the bell housing and uh, the more I looked at it then I started finding it more like higher up on the engine up past the oil filter and then I followed it and you can see it um, you know forward like I could see like three transfer case is right here so you can't really see all the bolts there but the first three bolts were oily and it looked like it continued on so we might be putting an oil pan gasket on this behemoth after the lift's in. I don't want to do it right now. It's not a big deal. It's not losing tremendous amounts of oil. It just had uh, everything was oily underneath there. So anyways, we're going to continue this uh, oil change after I go down to my parents and get my oil filter wrench that I left down there. I've bought tools uh, over the years and left some down there because like I was always doing my old oil changes and stuff down there After all that we've been through, I think it's fair from me to you Watch it burn as we soar away eh, eh. After all is said and done And I know I am the one I have waited here forever Now with the oil change, we're going to put our attention to the back end and uh, before I crush my light, I'm going to take this out. Um, when I go do what is that? Did a piece just break off of this thing? I think it did. I don't even know what it is. Oh, piece of that hook. Okay, whatever. It's still on there. Anyways, <laughs> um, I think whenever we go do t go to take that header off, I'm gonna take the inner wheel well out of here so uh, I can get a straight shot onto the exhaust manifolds. It'll be a lot easier for me, I think. It'll be a lot easier to put on and take off. So uh, probably remove this flare inner fender and. Stuff like that. So, anyways, I need to move this thing forward so I have room to work in the back because it is tight spaces in here. So, give me a second to get that done.
All right, so first things first, you're gonna have to drop your spare tire to get to your trailer hitch anyway. So uh, I need to get in the cab and find all of the tools that are needed to drop the spare tire. There is a, uh, a plug in the back of these right there. You take that out, you stick a rod down in there, you will crank it until the tire gets down far enough that you can unlatch it from the cable. So, let me get the tools out. We'll get this tire down and uh, see what we're working with here. So what I got going on is my cable came down, but my secondary release is stuck. Uh, I need to get a screwdriver up in there and see if I can get it to unlatch. Uh, GM put a secondary uh, latch on there, so if the cable snaps, your tire doesn't drop down out. But that rusts, and then it wants to stick up in there. So the cable's free, and it comes down. The tire's not come down. Oh, GM also changed the spare tire to an aluminum rim instead of a steel rim. So it, it's actually pretty nice still. Normally, uh, you get underneath there and your spare tire is just rust and shot. I mean, the rim is so rusted, it won't hold air. Which, my spare tire is flat, but I think it will hold air once I get it down out of there. I tried just pumping up the tire. I didn't even look at it. Um, I got it pumped up, started listening to it. I could hear a leak. Uh, around the what would have been the top of the rim or the back side of the rim uh, when it was up in there, it got some stones and debris in the bead of the tire. So I'm gonna have to let it, the air out of it, uh, try to clean the bead out, and then uh, we'll try to <laughs> put air in it again but as of right now it's not going to hold air so anyways let's get on to this hitch now now that uh, I have that out there is some rusty stuff underneath this truck but then there's other places where it's not rusty at all and I don't really drive it in the winter time or in the salty weather so I, I don't know I'll, I'll show you the underside Now that's really not what I wanted to see when I got underneath here. That uh, very rear cross member that goes between the frame rails is shot. I mean, it's pretty bad. Um, mostly on the driver's side. Passenger side's not near as bad. Driver's side is, is just falling apart. Uh, there's two cross members right there. The one in front of it is fine. It's not rusting at all. In fact, it still has undercoating on it, and it's solid. The, the one behind it, thats it's just where the fuel pump control module uh, bolts on, or uh, it, where the holder is for it. It's just its just shot. The bolts don't look really bad on the, um, the hitch. It looks like the hitch is going to come off just fine. I'll probably go ahead and throw the new hitch on, but I really 
need to think about getting this repaired because that's that's some serious uh, issues right there. Darn you, Sean Roberts! Quit sending me tools. Um, I do, I do actually have one of these. It's in my basement, but uh, I kind of lost all the attachments and stuff for it. So, I mean, yeah, it's kind of convenient, but man, quit spending your money on me. <laughs> I don't deserve it. So it's the next day. Uh, my uh, wife's stepfather was here, and we wired these in. We did a switch in there, turns them on, this one, and the one over there. So uh, we can flip these lights on whenever we walk in the garage, which is nice because we couldn't do that before. Um, my truck. Uh, no doubts about it. I'm going to have to replace that cross member. I've been looking online, and I cannot find that cross member. Every one I find is a tubular-style cross member, like off the older years. Um but I'm going to have to let that wait. It, I'm at least putting a heavier duty hitch on so that'll help with the support back here. The frame rails are fine. The cross member in front of it is fine. Um, it's the cross member that the spare tire goes up against and then all the dirt and stuff gets up in there and it just rusts it away. And this side of it's fine. It's the passenger side or the driver's side. Um, so we're going to wait until my lift is in here, which I still don't know when that's going to happen. You guys keep asking. I, I don't I don't know. I'm still waiting for my buddy to blast it and paint it for me. Um, and he's really busy. He has a busy business. But um, whenever the lift's in here, then we'll put the bring the truck in, put the lift underneath it, lift the bed up, and uh, then I can cut it out, put a new... Uh, cross member in there hopefully if i can find a new one i'd rather put a new one in there as opposed to cutting one out of a, a used one but i'm not sure how good of a view i got of it yesterday but this is all cross member and uh not, let me let me get my flashlight out here so you can see it better okay as you can see that is gone this cross member right here look down there on that side it is fine it is a little flaky but it, it's solid it's uh from where that spare tire tube the carrier where the tube goes through there uh from there over this way is just shot and yes the support beams on the bed back here behind the rear wheels are uh, pretty flaky as well but as you can see, that cross member right there with uh, a little bit of surface rust is in actually really good shape. The frame rails are solid, and uh, it's just everything from the back wheels back is a uh, really crappy shape. So, anyways, when we do get that replaced, there's companies now like, um, I'm not sure if 3M's one, 2 Plus 2, uh permatex i believe there's a couple other companies they make this spray on wax it comes out as a liquid and then it hardens and uh coats everything which is way better than undercoating um so once i get to a spot where i can get that replaced then we'll just coat this whole at least the back the back is going to get really well coated the front i'll just you know get the areas that look like need it but um That'll be something for when the lift's in here, too. Because then I can get it up above my head and spray everything, and it'll be really good. This, got to break this tire down. Uh, I can't get the bead clean. i got to take the tire off, clean the bead, and we'll get some air in it. And, it. and now, let's go ahead and put this hitch on. Because I need to get to the header and stuff tonight and uh, get this thing out of here. This was not okay. Would you look at that? I mean, it is pretty much gone. 
right here in the center where everything attaches at. Um, you see how thin this metal is? This new one is way heavier than that. Uh, look how thick, look how thick that is. Um, it's twice the thickness that this one is. Um, so that's at least going to help support my truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wait to get that cross member in, but I, I, I'm so glad I did this because that, that could have been a catastrophe. Uh, I can't believe I never really noticed it until now. Of course, this is tucked up under the bumper, so unless you get down and look up under, you know, and the rest of my truck was not rusty. So it was like, you never even really think about it. So, I mean, every now and then, check your truck over, <laughs> look at your hitch. And just look it all over because this thing is in wonderful condition except for the back end. It's horrible. That was simple enough. Hitch installed. Um, the only thing I, I didn't like about this hitch was uh, the bolts they used are a little bit smaller than the ones that came off the old one. And the old one had two more bolts in it that this one doesn't have. This one only attaches on the frame rails. The old one had two bolts that went up into the bumper rail here. Um, as you can see, are these two. And then it had those three mounts on each side. And the bolts are just a little bit heavier, it almost looks like. They're in really good condition. I almost thought about using those, but I didn't. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, it's, you know, we'll get to the cross member. But um, there it is. You got your front bolt up here which threads into the frame and then those two have uh, plates on top with nuts on the bottom um, this thing is freaking solid this is a solid hitch heavy duty um, but yeah so besides not using these two mounts down here it's still it's pretty seems pretty sturdy it's a heavy duty hitch so uh, but it fits perfect did not have any fitment issues it bolts right up it was very easy um, so yeah check your hitches out they're cheap if you need one get one don't mess around like I did and you know neglect it so I can haul with a little bit more confidence but somebody told me that uh, LMC truck might carry those uh, cross beams like that so I'll have to get on there and check but uh, we need to back my truck up and uh, I'm going to put the spare tire hitch up and throw the tire in the back this thing was a nasty mess it is gone this thing is is finished uh, yeah make sure you guys are checking your hitches out this is making a mess on my floor <laughs> but uh anyways I'm gonna end this video here man this thing is just filled that's crazy this is crazy I was to I towed the trailblazer from Harrisburg with this we'll pass the Harrisburg that's no good anyways um anyway so if you like this video go check out some of my other videos like subscribe and we'll see you on the next one Pizza!